we're going to start with our movie content, all right? You may have heard of this film. It's a, uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess it's a bit, a bit debatable on the responses, but I'm interested in it anyway. We're going to be covering the Venom trailer. Uh, last time we had some freezing all the time. Hopefully, I've got that fixed. Gonna watch it, gonna analyze as we go, potentially, or I might just react to it. And uh, hopefully when I edit this later, or get my editor to, we'll zoom in enough that it doesn't get copyrights. We'll find out. Uh, Sony are kind of dicey on copyrights. We'll see. Tell me what your thoughts are on Venom 2 uh, Carnage. Is that what it's called? I believe so. There you go. Right. I'm gonna be honest with you right off the bat. Ooh, let's not pause on that screen. Haven't seen Venom. Been meaning to. I've seen a lot of that kind of, I guess it's off-brand art Marvel, isn't it? It's, it's, it's specifically in its own world from Spider-Man. I, I, I've had several close calls to getting to, into Venom. I know the general story already from just like, it seems kind of obvious how its story's gonna go, but I hadn't done it. So, I only know one thing about this trailer and it's apparently a Tumblr post predicted it by saying, oh man, I wish, uh, I wish Eddie got like a fridge food from the Venom to show how close they got. Let me guess, this is it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> to be fair, no, actually no. I wouldn't want a par venom parasite inside me. <laughs> oh, I tell you man, like, uh, as much as I, I've heard 50-50 on Venom as like a series, I like this, you know, and I imagine a lot of people will. I feel like there's a there's a mass appeal to this. I will probably watch this, I will say, right off the bat. As much as all I've seen is him literally holding a, a carton of milk, I will probably watch this. I'm sold. I could watch a slice of life of this, honestly. Would anyone else be into a slice of life superhero thing? I mean, I guess we did get it with WandaVision. And I guess, yeah, I guess I want more of that. I want more of the Marvel TV shows. I want Venom just, you know, slice of life, makes his own restaurant, you know? I'm invested. Man, he's not too unlike Deadpool's house. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Deadpool would live in the same, as much as they're completely kind of, kind of different worlds. It's the same vibe. Like, uh, I remember from playing the Deadpool game, he had like a pile of pizzas, I think, in his kitchen. I could see that same kind of aesthetic here. I kind of like to see it. Gotta admit, I enjoyed Deadpool 2. And Deadpool 2. 2. I'm confusing myself now. Can't stop. Excuse me. <laughs> You're me. That's great. Have I become a boomer? Am I enjoying these? No, no, it's just good humor, right? Am I in the wrong here? Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, hey. Venom. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Chen. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, does she not, has he not ruined all of his relationships by now? He hasn't. <laughs> Even the Venom. Some people love you no matter what you do. Or no matter who you become. Is that wholesome? Or is that like, criminal? But like, canonically, they've kind of eaten a man, you know? And the, <laughs> the cashier's just like, hey, how you doing? Mm, not murderer, you're a friend. I've been thinking about you, Eddie. Oh dear. We're both artists. We're a bit experimental artists. You know, like there was a guy who taped a banana to the wall and called it art. And there was another guy who just like sneezed on a canvas. My type of thing is punching concrete, selling it to the museum. We're both artists. That's our connected breed, right? That's what he's talking about. There's actually a slice of light artistic film about, you know, breaking into the museum industry, obviously. Maybe a little bit literally in this case, right? Oh, uh, you know, here's another, yep, <laughs> classic head bitten off. The hidden victims of Cletus Kasady. Okay, yeah, sure, I see where this is going. Again, also Daily Bugle, but a totally different Daily Bugle, because they live in separate worlds, him and Spider-Man. How are you doing, Eddie? What's going on? Ravencroft just makes me think the Deadpool Asylum, but I mean, that's just the standard, uh, the standard superhero tragic backstory location. Ooh, wow. Hey, that's fun, that's, I, I get what they're going for there. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. Bless you. Oh. Oh, wait, I should have known this already. I did know this. I just didn't recognize him with hair. Ah. I, too, have back problems when I try to sleep, and I will go to any extent to fix it. 
Maybe I'll try that one day. Oh boy. Wow, they had to they had to give him five? Hey, it's Carnage, right? Uh, getting this right. Is it like an it's just another parasite, right? But a red one? And it's a, from the same kind of source? Is that how this works? Um, I know the basics of Venom 1. I do not know the backstory of Carnage. So, be cool to know. So he makes chaos in the jail cell. He becomes Carnage. It's a teaser, so that's all we get to see. All right. Oh, it's, it's, it's male poison ivy. Ah, isn't it, basically? I've seen this one before. I've watched Guardians of the Galaxy. I know Groot's cousin when I see him. These are really dumb jokes. I apologize. Let there be carnage. Carnage. Sorry, the don't mind me. Hasn't arrived yet. No! <laughs> What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? Oh man, you know what this reminds me of? I want to see more of this internal scenes as much as it's very simple and ideological to do. Because um, I only just discovered Disco Elysium, which is a game where you have multiple voices in your heads that are like 16 different personality traits and they all talk with like a different perspective and personality in your head as you're talking to people which is really really cool it's text-based mostly with a bit of voice acting but it's like your authority will tell you oh you know kick her while she's down and you know make yourself dominant and then empathy's in there also saying well hold on she's about to cry let's not and it's like oh oh give me more of this internal conflict please i'm getting these vibes from this venom scene man i just want a slice of life venom who needs carnage just give me, like, Venom opens up a cafe, and I'll be mwah, more than happy enough with that, you know? All right, that was the Venom trailer. We got there eventually, now didn't we? <laughs> oh, boy. But, uh, yeah, that was the Venom trailer. I enjoyed it, actually. That was really good. Um, as much as I haven't seen the original, and I'm more invested in the slice of life element, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to enjoy it. Might watch the first one first, but uh, when does this come out? It said coming soon and only in movie theaters so maybe i won't watch this or i'll have to wait till like i don't know christmas what do you guys think how'd you find that trailer i'm trying to work on my like intros and outros a little bit i guess i should release my outros because while putting together like highlights and seeing how they sound off it's very much like ah cut cut off it begins with we're moving on